close out there. We've probably been on for 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Ten this happens every late. show. Eight, eight minutes late. We never have like a clear start. Uh, we can start clearly now. So today is Fat Tuesday. The show is on. And Pancake Day. And Pancake Day. And that hey, guys, you are live. Hey, thank you. Wait, we're live. We're live. Thanks for tuning in to uh, Funny Talk with Mangelli and Max. Yay! I'm, I'm Tom Mangelli. This schlep is Doug Max. Hey! And our special in-studio guest today is Bobby Gaines. Thank you. Thank you. Here to spice up the show. I Make it so. better. No, I'm just joking. Just they say you're not. Glad to be here, guys. You're always, not. Always already. a pleasure hanging out with you guys. Already. You don't think we're good enough, do you? You're you not, but that's not the point. Right now... I, I like to say hello to everyone out there, and glad to be people, here this evening. I hope people didn't hear that. Now, in, in addition to Bobby Gaines, as if that were not enough, we also have calling in later on uh, Michelle Tomko, the five-time winner of the Atlantic City Weekly's wow. Night, Nightlife Award for Best Comedian. Hey, wow. shout out to Michelle. And I, I know her by reputation, and I've heard she's wonderful. I've never met her. She's so. a funny comic. She puts together great shows. She produces shows, and she's going to be calling in a little later. And uh, we're also going to be doing a celebrity uh, spotlight this week on Gilda Radner. Gilda Radner. Gilda Radner. A very very funny lady. Gilda Aww, Radner. She lost her way too early. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, okay. And uh, we, our, our show, Funny Talk with Mangeli and Max, is brought to you by J. Irwin Productions. If you want a fundraiser, a fundraiser, a comedy show in your bathroom because you're kind of some freaking weirdo, write to Jack at jerwinproductions.com. Jack will get you the hookup with some wonderful comics. He does great shows, and he, he specializes in the North Jersey, Rockland County areas. Um, and uh, I've actually been producing shows myself in the South Jersey area. Awesome. Through Comedy for Hire, my uh, production company. <clears throat> and uh, How's that doing? That's doing well. Good. And it, it pays a lot better than stand-up. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And I've been making breakfast for my dad. <laughs> That's sweet. Yeah. Don't say sweet. I'm diabetic. Oh. Bobby, the microphone is in front of your face. And what do you our, want me to do, Doug? Our radio audience wants to be able to see They your can face. see me. They can't see me. Can you guys see me now? So I, What do you want me to do, Doug? That's good. Thank you. Uh, Bobby, do you have any like uh, fans that like follow you around? Does uh, he have any fans? No. Well, I mean, you know, stalker fans. Stalker fans. Oh, good. Now do we're I have off any the stalker era. fans. I would yeah. hope not. I actually, p I have two stalker fans. I, I want to do a shout out to Deb and uh, Jeannie. <laughs> okay. They they actually uh, <laughs> this past Friday they they came to my fifth show that they've seen me at, and they're kind of like following me around now and and. Tom, they're called fans. They're not called stalker fans. Well, they they know who they are. What are their names? Deb, Debbie, and Jeannie. Debbie and Jeannie. Jeannie? Jeannie. Yeah, you know. Tom sometimes says inappropriate things. So so <laughs> Oh, you should know Debbie and Jeannie. And don't and and if you stalk him, just uh, wear really good disguises. <laughs> yeah. So um what what's going on? I, I'm I'm feeling jittery for some reason, Tom. Oh, Are you feeling jittery, Doug? It was too much coffee at dinner. Oh, oh yeah, by you the did way, have coffee. So. Speaking Upsets, of coffee uh, and dinner, uh, uh, today uh, happens to be Fat Tuesday. Fat my Tuesday. Tom, you made it. This is my day, Fat Tuesday. <laughs> Come on, Bobby. Little, you're we're musician. celebrating. We've celebrated yeah, earlier, right? Yeah. You're not fat. No, I watched Tom. Doug, you're not fat. It's all in your head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Comedy, our European listener. So Fat Tuesday <laughs> and Pancake. National Pancake National Day. National Pancake Day. Can it be any... Is that a coincidence? It's like the perfect storm. <laughs> you know, Christopher Walken called in to talk to us about it. He like He's like into making... You remember he was into oh, he had pancakes. A, yeah, we talked pancakes like with pancake, Christopher Walken. Uh, uh, fetish or something. I guess. I don't know. It's the maple syrup. Whatever. But anywho, okay. anywho. Uh, like we mentioned, uh, Gilda Radner is our topic of discussion tonight. If uh, 
Um, Forget Gilda Radner. I want to talk about Bobby. No, she was amazing. Bobby, do you have any? Yeah, but uh, you still are amazing. And one of she worked with one of my favorite. Well, she was married to one of my favorite oh, actors, Gene yeah, Wilder. Yeah. Shout out. I to love Gene them Wilder. both, but you're here. And Willy we Wonka, love, that was amazing. We want to hear about the Bobby Gaines experience. What's it like being you, Bobby? What Gaines? is it like being me? Well, you know what? I wake up and I start my day by saying, "I'm glad to be here," and then the rest is just a train wreck. This is the way it goes. <laughs> so you thought I was going to go somewhere? No, Doug, it's 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 cool. We, you know, as a comedian, I'm always trying to get out there and work and and uh, hopefully pay some bills and. Hopefully, you get funny at this craft, and that's pretty much it in a, a roundabout way. Well, the great thing about comedy, at least I found, the more the more you get up there, the better you get. Right, that's the most important. Thing. Even if you keep the same material, your delivery gets better. Well, I would disagree, but no. <laughs> <laughs> well, for some people, hey, no, some of us, you hey. know. <laughs> I'm right here. I know, Doug. We're just, he's in the room, Tom. We, <laughs> I keep forgetting. No, you do. You have to get yeah. up. You have to work, work, work. And another thing is, like, I, you know what I realized? Like, you don't know where you're going to end up in this. You could end up on radio. Yeah. You, could you could end, end up, up in a writer's room, right? Yep. You could yep. You could end up anywhere. So the, the We're sorry, Bobby, but you said And yes. I'm here. You could end you up here, yes. right? <laughs> That's a warning. <laughs> <laughs> so the bad omen, is that what you're telling me, Tom? Fair warning. Oh, my God. You could end up on Funny Talk. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. Hey, come on. There was somebody that wanted to be on our show once, wasn't there? Didn't somebody once ask to actually be on rather than our begging and... Oh, yeah. We've had a couple. Offering to feed them. And yeah. There's no accounting for taste. Drive them. But anyway, um, I do want to mention that... Um, well, Bobby, do you have any uh, fond memories of Gilda Radner's, Gilda Radner's performances? Well, I remember like she was like that first... Year of Saturday Night Live. I yeah, was, I was kind of younger, but I remember the not not for prime. Time. Right, those yeah. were the originals. So not I remember her from from place. that, and I remember her from um when I got a little older. She was in the Lady in Red with uh, Gene Wilder, and I used right. to always come on cable every time that that show came on cable. I used to always watch it. And the reason why is because she did the famous Marilyn Monroe. Uh -huh. Remember they recreated that. Who who with was the actress in the Woman in Red? with uh gene wilder but she played uh his wife in that so that's kind of the, fun, the fonder memory i have of her like i was kind of young when she was on saturday night live but you know See, i was a bartender at uh, at college and and people would come up at, at the fake commercials thinking it was a break to get beer but it was <laughs> one of the fake commercials so i remember i remember her vividly wow roseanne rosanna dana right right i loved uh emily latella Never mind. What's all this about and violins on television? <laughs> <laughs> and what was the uh, uh, something Lubner? Lisa Lubner. Lisa Lubner. Yep. Her, her, her and Todd, which was Bill Murray, throwing the spitballs. And, they they and were actually crack. They were scripted as nerds, the nerds, and uh, it was uh, Todd and Lisa, and yes, Mrs. Lubner. <laughs> She died really early, didn't she? Forty-two uh, years old. Way That's too young. Way too young. She had, she had cancer. Right. There's actually a, a foundation out that uh, helps raise money for cancer patients. Um. But she, the the characters. Did it, did did either of you ever see her um, audition for Saturday Night Live? On no, YouTube? that would probably be a, a good thing. I think oh, I yeah. actually did see that. Yeah, she was just like a force to be did reckoned she, with. Did from she the do start. her like five year old girl for that? Uh, she did several characters. Or whatever. The, and that, that was her I forte. Her, was doing Lorraine characters. Newman, Jane Curtin on the bed. Yeah. Okay, this is my girlfriend. Hey, girlfriend. <laughs> oh, no. She's watching the debate tonight. Uh, that's, that's wow. True is that what, isn't that what they call our show? The debate? No. So, anyway, Fat Tuesday. I'm, I'm on a diet. I've been on Weight Watchers, Bobby. I don't know if you know. Uh, they call it WW now. <laughs> it's more like WWE. <laughs> you should go to the meetings. It's like a wrestling match. Wow. Yeah, some big women. But uh, I'm not doing it that long. I already I lost forty five dollars. Wow. Yeah. Well, you're looking good. I must say that. Well, you know, if you were I in England and you said pounds. Oh, you know how much I'm worth in England? How much? Three hundred and sixty pounds. <laughs> That's a lot of. You know, 
Do they say stones? Is that no? Where's stones at? Only when there's smoke. Okay. A yeah, stone is heavy. A stone is. Well, uh, that's a form of uh, that's a commentary. But I think unit. it's like I want to say it's like fourteen pounds. But if any of our viewers know what a stone weighs, no. please. Oh, hello to your and, viewers. How and, about and, that? And right, Hi. Yeah, hello, got, viewers. Oh, I'm sorry. Hi, Kathy. Hello out there in TV land. Yeah, say hello to our viewer, Kathy. Hey, <laughs> Kathy. How are you? Where's she? Where's Kathy calling from? Uranus. I don't know. Who's Kathy? Where's Kathy do calling we from? Do we have a Kathy? Uh, our one fan, you forgot her name? <laughs> it's hard to keep up, you know, I'm getting old. And you've got two stalkers, but now... now oh, so you got three fans. Isn't this amazing? Wow. Huh? See? So I have a fan. Hard work that's pays what it, off. That's, I, that's it. I have a fan. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your fan, Doug? His name is Bill. Bill. Oh, we do have fans. Bill and Nancy and Iggy. Iggy does not like me. Iggy, oh. Iggy, We're talking about a puppet, right? Iggy, Iggy is yeah. a puppet. Yeah, Iggy does not like me. I get along fine with with the human the human flesh that carries Iggy around. But just Iggy, Iggy, does Iggy right, just doesn't like you. Now, now I said Deb and Jeannie saw me five times. B Bill and Nancy must have seen me over a hundred times in the last eight years. Wow! Literally, they they came to every one of my shows for the first few years. That's nice. What, they were Isn't like sweet? super, super supportive. And Bill and Nancy came to see me three, three, three times. Okay. <laughs> they asked for their money back twice. <laughs> <laughs> Iggy asked for his money back. That's terrible. <laughs> and both times, both times I'd given them like twenty bucks to come and see me and laugh, <laughs> and they couldn't. They couldn't even do that. Doug. I mean, they came, but the, the laughing, they couldn't. Can bring yourself you know, to so that. Show some support. So, Doug, you know, we yes, talked. Uh, uh, you mentioned Roseanne Rosanna Dana. Was that was that your favorite of Gilda's characters? Um, uh, I I loved I loved that on on uh, Weekend Update. Mm. Um, I th I thought she was brilliant. So I can't say I had a favorite character. I thought they the, were all. Good. I thought the five year olds popping on the bed was incredible comedy. Mm -hmm. um, listening to uh, um, uh, Mr. Mike's bedtime stories. You remember his dark? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a uh, what was his Buck name? Henry. Oh no, Buck Henry did that with the girls. But there was also a guy that did uh, Mike Donahue. Phil Donahue. No, oh. Mike. Somebody will know. I don't know. Yeah, he did. Uh, Anyway, he did Mr. Bill the puppet, actually. Who did the 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 the, the, the guy I'm thinking of? Um, I think. I, I think. don't know. Yeah, you don't know. Do your homework before the show. Well, I don't want to just read Wikipedia to people. Anybody can do that, but 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 nobody can make up stuff like I can. Now, is it just me, or was that first season and the first few seasons with the not yet ready for primetime players? Were they the best of all the Saturday Night Lives? Yes. What do you think? E Bobby? Eddie added to it. Eddie Murphy. Well, I'm glad you added, asked. Added <laughs> what do you think, Mr. Mr. Bobby Gaines? Well, they were groundbreaking. That's for sure. Right. Yeah. It was never done before. Correct. They, they set the bar, is what they. Right. Did. Uh, they had the Stones and the Dead on. Yeah, yeah. you're right. Right, and Billy then that, Joel. that era kind of came to an end, and then you have. The, the Eddie Murphy, right, right, the the second incarnation. Well, I also, Eddie, I also Eddie brought the show. Right, up. right. I right. love that generation because they had some great comics right. come through there at that time. The well, show everybody. itself, the I don't know, the writing might not have been as good. I don't think the original writing. Right, I don't think you could compare because the original was the original. That's yeah. you know, and they that's when you got it, and that's where you got a, a chance to like kind of try things. And see what's gonna work. Then they then they split the show with the Muppets. Did you ever hear that the what? story what? that the Muppets were on the first season of Saturday Night Live too? Yeah. So that was an opportunity to kind of see what works, what didn't work. And now you have a kind of standard. Like I haven't seen anything since. I mean, there's been some good Saturday Night Lives, but you know, it's all like weird, freaky characters. It got strange, right? Like too, Saturday Night Live weird. got strange. Yeah. But, yeah, um, weird. but um, the skits are too hom homogeneous. But I'll tell you, I, I, I told that story, and it's true. People would get up from the bar thinking the fake commercials were real right, ones, right. and they were brilliant. They you were know, awesome. And at the time, you look at they them now, awesome. it's, you know, the, the, 
the, the Triton Trinitron X3 watch. The watch is so complicated it takes two people to operate. Right, and you would think that was a real and, commercial. And the, the Moyle doing a, a circumcision. <laughs> that was amazing, a, right? Yeah. I don't think you could even do that now, could you? Well, all of them came from skit comedy through Second City Television right. and that right. kind of thing. Right. And it was just like the perfect storm at yeah. the perfect time. It was some gr it was some great people that came out. Bill Murray, correct? Oh yeah, you know he, who, so? by the way, took Gilda's death very hard. Right. Uh, he he and Gilda had a special bond. <clears throat> but speaking of uh, uh, Gene Wilder, uh, did you know that originally they tried to cast um, who's the the British actor we're, that we're having on with uh, Jason? Peter Sellers. Peter Sellers was supposed to be cast as Gene Wilder's role in um, The Producers. Really? And for some reason, he he backed out of it. He didn't do it. And that kind of made Gene Wilder's career. Right, right. You know? um, and I'm a huge Gene Wilder fan. Yeah, yeah, me too. Willy Wonka, that was it for me Uh huh. growing up. <laughs> then he did the stuff with Richard Pryor we were talking about. So Right. He had a long career, too, you know. So, okay, yep. well, screw now, him. Now, Gene Gilbert. Wilder was also a, a right. He wrote a lot of movies. Um, he wrote the the last movie that Gilda was in. Um, what the heck was that called? The Haunted House. The Haunted House. Really? That's the one with Dom DeLuise right. as the woman. And that was an absolute flop. But yeah, yeah, she took that hard. Yeah, that was her last movie. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, if you want to bring the show down more, let's yeah. just keep no. <laughs> just Doug, joking. you have anything to add? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it says funny talk with Mongelli. There's no funny talk with Max. Did you get written down the uh, the other Tuesday people? Oh, I we did not get who the other but the but, but guys, listen in this time on the first and third Tuesdays and there's another show on that's not the second and fourth Tuesday show with uh, James and Jamal. And of course, funny talk <laughs> is the second and fourth Tuesday of every month and if you want to contact us you can through email at funnytalkmm at gmail.com. Uh, Did you guys you get the call in number tonight? Can I say it? 609-807-2492. Please call the show. We would love to hear from you. And, Doc, uh, we were supposed to have a call. We didn't miss anything, did we? We're not seeing anything up on the screen. Just... So I did some research on Gilda. Well, let's just continue talking right, until we get the phone call. Um, Gilda Radner started, she was, her first stage performance of any notoriety was in Godspell in Canada. Um, and uh, she was in that with several other like Second City Television people like Martin Short. And, right. And, and those guys. But, um, you know, I mentioned uh, Haunted Honeymoon was the last one that she did, the last movie. Um, do we have a caller? Doc? No. Hello. <laughs> Hello, caller. Hello. But I saw a, um, an interview with Bill Murray, and uh, he mentioned that uh, Gilda would light up any room that she walked into. Mm. And she was that kind of a person. Mm. She had like an infectious uh, smile and, and, and demeanor. And, uh, and Bill Murray just got off on making her laugh. And, and that was like his, she, he, he claims that she made him more funny because he, he loved trying to make her laugh. Right. Yeah. So um, I did break down Wikipedia Gilder and it reminded me of her imitating Patti Smith on Saturday Night Live and also Olga Corbett. Do you oh, remember yeah, her, I remember. Olga Corbett? Yeah. It was the other little five-year-old girl thing but done as a Russian uh -huh. acrobat. It was brilliant. <laughs> She battled bulimia on the show. I did not know that. Right. Mm -hmm. Gilda Radner. Yes. Baba Wawa. So. By the I'm way. I'm so glad Bobby is on the show. Well, Have thank you, you noticed, so much. Have you I'm, noticed I'm, how it brings everything up? Is I'm, he still here? No, I'm, I'm here. I'm trying not to go to sleep, Jesus. No, I'm just playing. He's, he's Wikipedia <laughs> and Gilda. No, I love her. I really do. She's a, you know, she's a great comedian. Yes. I don't know what you want me to say. But, what do you want me to say? She's no, she's no Bobby Gaines. She's no and that's Bobby who Gaines. we're really here to celebrate if it's... Bobby, what shows you got coming up? What do you got cooking? Good question. I'm actually working with this guy. Are you? I'm sorry to hear that. Hey, I heard that. <laughs> He's right here. 
<laughs> yeah, but I don't know if his hearing is on. It's in my death thumb. You're in my death headphones. Doug, we have a show, right? We do. For 414 Entertainment at Tierney's Tavern in Montclair, New Jersey, this, what is it, March uh, 1. March 1st. Yeah, Sunday. Yeah. March 1st. We is have this a Sunday? Yeah. Yes. Oh, my God. I need a routine by Sunday. I am working Sunday. with Doug Max. Jesus. I need a routine by... What a by show by that's going to be. Look how far my career has gone. Bobby, you, got a, you got a few extra minutes of material you could, you could share with I would with not us. waste them on Doug Max. I, <laughs> I really... <could> do <laughs> Hey, you got some other people on that show too, right? You got uh, we got other people on that show. It's hey, can we look at the not flyer? Not that we up? need that other people. No, no, we it's do. It's Bobby and me. Doug, we trust don't need. Me, we do. do we need other people? Natty, Natty, I'm sure is. Natty is on the show. I Suzanne think he's Linfonte. And Sharon Simon is our know? headliner. I, I saw the and flyer. Suzanne Linfonte. All my friends. A great lineup. All yeah. my friends of comedians. I love. Oh, we cannot. Forget Jelly. Jelly is on the oh, show. Oh, yep. She's the other Jelly. The lovely Jelly. I she love is doing, on. I, you know, I'm getting to do more and more shows with all, where I love every comic. Really? You know, I really like every comic. Yeah, we stopped working When together. did this start? Where Bobby is on. <laughs> okay. All yeah. right. Yeah. So, I, yeah, we, we're you working. you got to take it if you can give it out. We're working on <laughs> Sunday, and I believe that's Saturday, which is... Uh, I'm out with Gerald. 29th. Uh, yeah, I'm out in 29th with Gerald Benford somewhere in Montauk, New Jersey. So Nice. Except uh, Montauk is in uh, Long Island. Wherever we are. Did they come you into like an eight-hour ride? Oh, it's in New Jersey, Gerald. No, that's oh, that's one of Gerald's fire fire uh, gigs. He does very well there. So I'm always looking forward to going out with... Uh, you know, with funny people. And I love Ger Gerald. Yep. So, yeah, we're in Montauk and... Uh, I'm always working. I got some stuff next month, but I guess I might stop on by again and, and holler at you guys. So, yeah, I'm, so I'm working on uh, this whole weekend pretty much. So I'm looking forward to always getting out and trying new stuff. And awesome. Seeing new people and, you know, that's, that's so, what we do. Right? So speaking of this weekend, there's, yes. uh, there's something very important going on in your life. Would you like to, to oh, share Also, that? on, on? Uh, Saturday the 29th, we will ha be having a... Uh, a uh, tree planting ceremony for my oldest son, uh, Jamal Marley Gaines. He was uh, uh, he passed four years ago, so the township of Rawway is going to honor him with the tree planting. So, if you're in the area of Rawway, New Jersey, it's also on my page. You can um, you can go there, and um, I would love to see you there. You know, he has a really important story. He was a 21 year old entrepreneur, and he was uh, shot and killed in a sneaker store. Oh, yeah. yeah, so um, you know. Over it is sneakers. what it is, you know. Yeah, and, over um, sneakers. Well, and we don't know if it was over sneakers, but yeah. we just know that it was a tragedy. That that was you know, his store? That was his store. He was do doing amazing things at 21 years old. I mean, he was really, really, really pushing being a businessman, showing other people a business model that works, you know, in terms of selling sneakers, high-end sneakers, as well as, you know, what the kid's into. Jamal was a sneakerhead. I don't know if you know what a sneakerhead oh, yeah. is, but... You know, these are guys that collect sneakers and they're really into it. So he made it a business. And unfortunately, you know, things happen in life. So mm -hmm. we're honoring him on uh, Saturday the 29th. It's in Raw Rawway, New Jersey. It's going to be a tree planting for him. So I love to see you guys there. We want to keep his uh, legacy alive. There's also the Molly Gaines Foundation. You can look that up online. And um, we have a lot of things going on with his foundation. So, you know, I would love to see you. That's awesome. I, I I would come. I got, I'm kind of booked this weekend myself. In fact, right. I want to put my own plugs in. If if you're in the uh, South Jersey or Delaware Valley area, uh, Friday night I'm going to be at Leather Leatherhead Pub, Leather, hey. Leatherhead Comedy Club in Egg Harbor City. I'm going to be performing with Brian Isley, very funny guy, uh, Brandon Abercrombie, and Scott Friedman. Um, so that should be a good show. And uh, Saturday the 29th. At 3 o'clock, um, I'm going to be at Jesse Creek Winery at the Cape May Courthouse. Nice. Not at the courthouse. The town is called Cape May Courthouse. And I'm going to be with Michelle Tomko and Michael Hogan. Hagen. That's great. Also, we want to mention um, a wonderful comic, uh, Carol Montgomery, will be with some of the funniest women in the country for an evening of laughs at Hack Pack, the Hackensack Performing Arts Center. Performing Arts Center. Uh, that is March 27, 2020. Um, and if you want 
And that's a J. Irwin production. It's a J. Production. Irwin production. Nice. Um, and if you uh, if you come to our website tomorrow, we'll have a poster up. You can find it there, or go to um, J. Irwin Productions Facebook page. Right. And you'll see the link there. Also, as if as if that isn't enough, um, another wonderful comic. Uh, Thursday night, April second. Thursday, April second. John Pizzi. PZ. It's in Italian, it's Pizzi. In in the United States, it's John Pizzi. But it's an Italian. Everybody name. knows him as John Pizzi. I don't know him. It's, it's Easy Pizzi. He should know how to pronounce his name. Actually, his wife is Easy Pizzi. <laughs> He's I don't performing know at Where is he performing? <laughs> the Pearl River Saloon. Ah. Pearl River. Nice venue. In Pearl River, New York. Yeah. Wow. April right. 2nd, John Pizzi. Pizzi. He's Italian, right? Two Z's in Italian is... Tz. Yeah, do you have pizza or pizza? Are there piz Italian pizza? pizza? Oh, that's a good point. Ah, but in Italy, you probably have pizza. In the United States, it's John Pizzi. John, if you're listening, <laughs> would you please call up and correct... The controversy over how your name is pronounced. Six zero nine eight zero seven two four nine two. Oh, he's got a puppet. John, I apologize. He's got is many. Is he a puppets. ventriloquist? He's a ventriloquist. It's he does an magic. Italian name. How do you say the Verrazano Bridge? Verrazano Bridge. But it's really Verrazano. <laughs> well, go to Italy and go talk all you want. You're here now. I'm Italian, and I don't say it that way. Scusi. <clears throat> Somebody help me. Help me or kill me. One or the other. Per favore. So he's a ventriloquist. He married this yeah. guy? Well, he's a comic. Okay. He's a very funny comic. He's been in the business forever. In fact, I've been to see him several times. I've never worked with him. John, right. hire me. Get me away there from this go. crackpot. How does his dummy pronounce his name? I bet he says Pitsy. He's got several dummies. So do I. No, I only have one, Doug. Thank you, You're Tom. my only dummy. I know, Tom. <laughs> <clears throat> What else we got going on? Oh, my God. Absolutely This is nothing. a great show. We're it's staying not. focused tonight. It's Isn't not. this amazing? I'm yeah. trying I to refuse. distract you guys. And no, you're, you're not going to do it I'm tonight. I'm trying to distract you guys. We have a I'm focus. I'm a little worried about what happened the last time we had a... Uh, oh, that was a train wreck. <laughs> Doug, this whole show is a train wreck. <laughs> no, Doug, this is a good one. This really well, is. No, no, this episode is good, yeah. You're biased. But Doug because is like the you. cow on the railroad track. Why, he just won't move? He's just going to stay? He's going to make <laughs> things difficult, and the train will not get through with Doug. No, we're going to get through this tonight. Yes, we are. <laughs> I hope so. Tom, you know why I am like this, don't you? Because I like pretend you're an to be, I pretend to be so nice. Ever. It's got to come out of me. I know. You need this to, is the only place to I have. You need to vent. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. I get it. Yeah, you want to put a vent in me, and blood will pour out. But what are you venting? This is what I want to know. Doug tries to be like proper and 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 you know what what he expects people to expects of him. But no one expects that of him. That's the point. Well, no, he's got a girlfriend. Oh, yeah, that's right. Hi, Stephanie. Stephanie. She Stephanie. expects some stuff from me. Like what, Doug? She um, keeps him in line. Let's put it that way. He said, "Um, honey, would you like me to pick up dinner and and make you something for?" Make us something for dinner. That's no, sweet. That would be so sweet, honey. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. And then, she, and then in return, honey, uh, I'm I'm going to Virginia for a few days. Can you watch my dog <laughs> and pick up its poop and put it in plastic bags and keep it next to your driveway and remember to throw it out once a week? <laughs> Stephanie, turn the channel. <laughs> <laughs> watch anything else. Watch it. Watch the debates. Is she watching yeah, the she's debates? Watching tonight? the debates. Yes, yeah, she instead is. of the okay. show, she's Thank watching the debate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, we could do a mock debate. Do you want to pretend to be a no, presidential sir. candidate? <laughs> no, 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 no. Can I just ask, are you, are you following politics, Mr. Bobby Gaines? Uh, I've been taught never to talk about religion or politics. Who taught you that? My great granny. And do you think that was right? I love right? her. Lived to I 100 love, years old. Tell Did us you not about talk your politics? Oh, man, she was amazing. What Did was you? her name? Lily. Lily? Yeah. Oh, I don't want to talk politics. I want to talk to now, him about wait a minute. What why he didn't talk about politics. What did, what did I you don't want to get. I don't want to get in trouble. I, I Bobby, what did you call her? We call her Granny Nana. Granny yeah. Nana. Okay. Yeah, I had a Grandma Nina. 
Yeah. I love Grandma Nina. Right. All Grandma Nina's are right. She had a little voice. Boy, where you going? Now in Italy we call them Nana, Nonna. So she was Nina Nonna. Nonna. Or Nonna Nina. <laughs> Nonna. No, 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 Nonna. The weird thing is, um, her name was Anna, but everybody called her Nina. I didn't know till she died that her real name was Anna. <laughs> She was married to Grandpa Jimmy, whose real name was Vincent. Oh, man. It, they were from Hoboken. Everybody from Hoboken had a different name. That's right. It was like an alias. I don't know if they were all you know, connected or what, but um, everybody had a different name. So you wanted to do a debate? That's what you wanted to do, Doug? This is what we came up here for? No, I, I wasn't planning on it, but oh. you brought it up, and I thought... But we could talk about why you don't want to talk about why... why. You know, we, we, we grew up... We would always talk about politics really? around. Oh, all the time. Yeah. And, you know, my parents were very, very involved. So, you know, I, my experience that. growing up is nobody, nobody said who they voted for or who they're going to vote for. They it just said like, who they liked? Well, you know, if it came up at all. I mean, we were not like real political right. in my family. Right. You know, we were just about having fun and making each other laugh and being stupid, silly, eating, obviously. Right. You know. We used to eat like crazy. I, if we ate today what we ate back then, you know, they'd, they'd put us in, in food jail. Yeah. Oh, my God. All the fatty meats in the uh, hold on the bust. In my, in my house, if you sat on the toilet and didn't slide off, you were doing <laughs> something wrong. It was bad. Hey, excuse me. Hey, Doc, uh, just if you can hear, we can't see anything up on the screen. So uh, we are, you know, just so we know what's going on. I don't know if that means anything. Doc, can you hear us? Look at this. It's funny talk with Mangelli. Oh, that's what am I? That, that's fine by me. What am I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, they keep on picking a big, uh, big font. <clears throat> hey, there we are. Hi. Hi there. So, if you're if you're watching and listening on YouTube, you can see our image, which really? is nothing to speak of. Oh, but if you're see. listening on Hamilton Radio, you're just hearing our, our melodic voices. Well, you know, if they're watching you right now, there's a there's like an eyeball over your head. Tom. Well, if they're Is watching they? on Facebook, they can see you, right? Yeah. No, okay. they're seeing an eyeball over Tom's head right now. That's actually there. It's not a part of the screen or anything. Mm -hmm. It's my Maybe third you know. eye. Oh. Yes, I'm. I'm. Oh. Did Did you ever have an, an an ESP sort of episode? Oh, all the time. All the time. Yeah. Bobby? I used to. I. Wow, that's good. Gosh. Well, I want to get. I want to know if you did, and then we'll go back and get his. I mean, maybe what we'll deja yours. vu? What are, what are we Whatever. trying to? Uh, yeah, I, get, I think we all have it, kind of. I when I was in college, I was able to take a person's hand, look them in the eye, and start telling them things about them that only they would know. So you were a whisperer. And I was, a, and then in the beginning, it was very generalized. But then I would get like so specific that I can see their dilate, their eyes dilate, and them so turn. You, you were getting closer. Uh, they would like lose all the color in their face. No offense, but um, I got like real specific at times and like scared people. <laughs> really? Yeah. And and actually, in conversation with my mother, I referenced the time that Grandma Nina's house burned down, and she said, "Thomas, Grandma Nina's house didn't burn down. Wouldn't you know? Two weeks later, her house burned down." So and they found the matches. The no, cops, he's a pyro. The cops still <laughs> didn't suspect. <laughs> No, seriously, it actually happened. That Did you way. swerve me? Did you really? Is, wow! Yeah. So you're psychic. Uh, Tom, used... didn't you? Uh, didn't you work as a, on the psychic cot? I got fired from the psychic cot line. Why? Why would they fire you from? You're such a good psychic. I, I kept picking the phone up before it ran. <laughs> they get busy Funny. signals. Just over. No, are you time. serious? You, yeah, yeah, you I'm, te I'm telepathetic. Wow, telepathetic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be a medium, but I outgrew that job. <laughs> Oh, <sighs> well, I did do a show at the Scientology Center in New York City. Did you? Is that close enough to being a... <laughs> no, I'm just joking. You're yeah, I did. He's I did. choking. Give him the Heimlich. I, I did. I did it. That was like one of the weirdest shows I've ever done. Comedy for the Scientologists? I, for Scientologists. Did they I hook you up to I a... I cannot make this up. Did they hook, hook you up to an electrical device? I wish we had more time. I would love okay. to tell the story. Well, we've... Tell we've, we've, did, we've you, got, did you do your John Travolta impression? Listen, <laughs> it was the craziest show. First of all, I'm Baptist. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so a friend of mine... Um, He's a musician. His name is James. Shout out to James. He's a really incredible hey, James. Mu musician. He lives in Harlem. 
So he gives me a call and says, hey, we're going to do a show at the Scientology Hall in New York City. Would uh -huh. you like to come down and close the show? And it's on a Saturday, and it's a paid gig. And all I heard was Saturday uh, paid and gig. paid gig. <laughs> Take the gig. We all learned that lesson. <laughs> so it was getting closer to the show, you know, and the flyers came out. It, the flyers were amazing. Comedy, music, Scientology Hall. So uh -huh. you know, show was on a, on a Saturday. And it's supposed to start at 7.30. So I get there at 7.30. And there's this guy outside. He's, like, giving out Scientology pamphlets. And there's a receptionist. And I walk up to her. Hello, my name's comedian Bobby Gaines. I'm here for the show. You introduced wait, yourself wait, as wait, comedian wait, wait, Bobby wait, wait, Gaines? Wait, wait, Stop it. Stop Let it. Finish. You're messing up the story. Let him finish. You're messing up the story. Yes, I did. This is how you... When, how was I supposed to introduce myself? I don't go up to people and say, Hi, I'm comedian Doug Max. Well, because you're... I'm kidding, like, Bobby. Anyway, so the lady says, Go in the back to the auditorium so I went to the back and the auditorium door was closed and I opened the door it was empty what the auditorium I said oh I'm, this is a setup <laughs> <laughs> it's like that scene in Goodfellas I'm like this is a setup this is how Scientologists get you <laughs> and I remember in the room there was a huge busk ahead of L. Ron Hubbard oh jeez so I'm freaking out. I'm like, I'm getting out of here. So I went to the front. and um, Diabetics by L. Ron Hubbard. <laughs> so I went to the front and I asked the lady, I'm like, what's going on? She said, let me make a few phone calls. And then she was like, um, we're sorry, the show's going to start a little later. So I was like, okay, I feel better that Scientologists are like black people. We don't start on time. So that made me feel. <laughs> <laughs> made you feel at home. Made me feel at home. <laughs> so the show started around 8.30. It was an amazing show. Like they had dancers and, and poets and um, the comedians. It was three of us. We had a green room. So before we went on, a guy from Scientology came into the green room. Yeah. And he gave us a contract. And, and I always the, remember this. Sign your I soul always, over? No, I always <laughs> do remember the contract. The contract said that you cannot talk about Scientology and or its, its uh, founder, L. Ron Hubbard, or any celebrity or person affiliated with Scientology past or present. Sign. Wow. You're like, oh. Wait, wait, wait. I signed it. Yeah. And like... What was a, what was crazy is like all week I was writing Scientology jokes. Oh no! So I was like, well, how did uh, they know? Yeah, uh, but I had the greatest show in the world. Really? And you know why? Why? I had Mormon jokes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I once did a show for Jehovah's Witnesses. They all they wanted to hear were knock knock jokes. Really? Get it? Knock knock. Jehovah Witness. Oh, Bobby, comedy. Uh, hey, hey, you didn't comedy. laugh. You didn't, you didn't laugh at that. No, but no, I, I didn't. He, he swerved me again today. That's an old joke. Uh, wow. Yeah, man. So, you know, we've all had those weird shows. Why Doug, is that flashing those, up why, there? Why are those wires? Because you're psychic. You got shit moving. Oh, man. my I'm sorry. God. First it's like a poltergeist <laughs> in here. Jeez. And look, Bobby, they, they have a fan for you. They have a fan for me. On Where? the right there. See? Oh, we're yeah. grasping. It's his floor fan. Where? It's them. a circular fan on the right of the room. And still they Your other right. <laughs> pick a small font. Who is oh, okay. Why yeah. is that for me? They got a fan club. Oh, jokes. Nah, 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 nah. Boy. On Funny Talk Radio. This and has been this has been for fun our tonight. Worldwide listeners, that was that was uh, humor. <laughs> or a, a, a vague attempt at it. I got to tell my Scientology story. I love telling story. Oh, my God. Story. Thank yeah. God Bobby Gaines is here to lift up this show. Right, because I could have been on Oprah Winfrey's couch just jumping up and down. You know, you know? <laughs> Never know what would have happened after that gig. See, that's the insider. You got, got it. So can he you got, you got it. He got up remember on the couch that? because he was so short. That's Would you like to tell us one of your Scientology jokes that you were not allowed to tell? At, or, you, or was your contract for life? Well, the whole the whole set was Tom Cruise and anal probing. That was basically <laughs> so basically South Park <laughs> or Doug's Weekend and that, ter and that terrible movie John Travolta made. That was my whole you know. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> Remember he was in a uh, he was in a sci fi movie that um, L. Ron Hubbard because you know that guy was a oh, science. That's right. He Remember was a, that? he was a, a science fiction writer. Was a science first. fiction author. But th this is what L. Ron Hubbard said. He said if you want to make a million dollars. Start a religion. Hey, You're in the wrong business. You yeah, guys realize that, big right? Big time. You don't pay taxes. 
Right. I was amazed at that place. I was like, wow. I wanted to. I had some ideas for starting a religion. Okay, let's hear them. One was the uh, Church of Holy Smoke. Mm hmm. Okay, and? And the, the only other idea I came up with was a premise what would Doug do? Okay. And I got a lot figured out, especially with like cars. I'm pretty good with cars. Now, what show, what show did they have the, the Church of Fonzie? Oh, <laughs> was happy that the days? Family Guy? Happy Days? I think it was oh, Family no. Guy, Church of Fonzie. Yeah. Right? Was that pre Scientology or, or? What do you mean, pre Scientology? I mean, when they made that skit, was that before Scientology became popular? Or, or well, something? Scientology's been around for a long yeah, time. It has. Yeah. Joaquin Phoenix was in that movie. That was a really good movie. I don't know why we're going left with Scientology tonight. But, I don't know. But yeah, you said you were psychic, and I find, you know. I, you know, I, I knew amazing. he was going to say that. I, I've, I always poo pooed it and didn't give it any credence, but I really think there was something there. Right. I, you know, I haven't had any episodes like that, but I do, I do sometimes can like, anticipate things go wrong right and i can and i'll avoid it but you know what as a as a comic you kind of need that you know like you kind of guess who's in the crowd yeah you kind of need i've always heard that well you know like what it you is? need to be half psychic when you're doing it's not even so much psychic i just like seem to be attuned into people like um uh what do they call them um uh, muffins <laughs> 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 oh, like, I can't think of the term. Uh, 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 oh, shit. What do you see her? Yeah, an empath. An empath. You're an empath, empath. right. I, I really think on some level I'm an empath. Wow. Yeah. See, he has levels. I, I do. How come you never show that empathetic side with me, Tom? He does all no, the time. He's yes, mean. he does. He no, mocks that's not me true. for not getting I, I'm, laughs. I'm a very empathetic person. Right. Why do you mock me all the time? Because I nobody laughs at me, Tom. Um, we do laugh at you. We laugh okay. at you all the time. <laughs> okay, well, You're just not doing comedy okay. at the time. <laughs> okay, well, I'm doing something. People are laughing. We're having an empath moment, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. <laughs> well, I've always been like an altruistic person. I started out in psychiatric social work. Right, working right. Working with schizophrenics, which is why I get along with Doug. Right. You okay, know? that makes sense. All right. Yeah. It's all coming together now, people. Yeah. Doug's He's been quiet tonight. This is isn't He's this amazing? He's been very quiet. I know. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. There's something. Something about the alignment of the planets is going on. Really? Really? Do you feel it? It should happen more often on Funny Talk Radio. It really <laughs> should. <laughs> Bobby, I have to hand it to you. You've actually helped us keep on track. We're tonight. sticking to the script. I, I told said? you to stop trying to make it good. <laughs> There's no, there's so many good comics out there. There's no place for us in good. <laughs> it is. If Tom and I want to stand out, it needs to be clearly at the bottom. Doug, at the I've, bottom. I've spent my whole what life. What did Julia Scotty say? I love this quote. Please, please. She said, <laughs> "The only way you can be, the the, the only thing I can suggest for, for you this guys show. to be better is to be worse." And she said, "Doug, you're fine." Tom was too funny. <laughs> Tom was trying to like I'd say something that wasn't funny, and he'd like apologize and act I awkward to and cover and compensate. So guys, yeah. this is not the bottom. <laughs> Believe it or not. <laughs> Believe it or not. He is quiet tonight. I did it. I did my job. Thank you, and the psychic um, guy. We needed a we need a black guy and a psychic to make oh, this wait, thing. Oh wait, psychic! I thought you meant psycho. <laughs> I am going to the car, and I'm going to get my saxophone out. Oh, oh no, sax he's tonight. Bring his, yeah. No sax tonight. <laughs> I've heard that. You promised times. me. If you want to play with your sax, <laughs> you got in play the car. Play by yourself. You got in the car tonight. The first thing. You wanted was sax. I wanted the sax. I really did. Well, Doug practices safe sax. And that's important. Yeah. <laughs> we don't want a little, another Doug sax run. No, I'm just. <laughs> you know the secret to getting good? What's good? To, to making lovely music together? You got to you gotta suck on the reed a little bit. I'm going to move my chair a no, little. No, no, that made sense. You do. You yeah, have you got to suck like on the reed. I used a, to stick a, it in a... Wood, a like a, well, you need the I used to stick it in a little shot do. glass with yep. the Dr. Pepper. You definitely need to. I used to have a saxophone. That was a double Did entendre, I guess. Um, I, I didn't take lessons or anything, but I, I 
got some doo wop. Uh, in okay. Me. Huh. Yeah. I was going to bring the guitar, but you em- guys weren't paying me tonight, so I'm wop. not coming. Anyway, I'm going to get my harmonica. <laughs> it's right over there. I always thought doo wop was racist against Italians. Why? Do wop. Wop. Oh. Yeah, I you, never. You know, they used to stamp WAP on Italians without passports. official papers or without passport. With it, yeah. I thought it was official. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. and that's how we became known as WAPs. And you, did you and, know? And the music was doo wop. Well, I mean, doo wop had nothing to do with. They just. But they just right, yeah. right. Okay. But um, Italy doesn't have a, a navy because their ships are wop sighted. Wait a minute. Are we hearing? Hello. And you have your phone call, guys. Hello. 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 You're on with funny talk. With Mangelli and Max, who's calling? Hey, hey, how you doing? This is your former president, Mr. Barack Obama. Holy sh! Are you serious? This is Mr. Obama, President Obama. Hi. We're honored. How are you guys doing? We're, we're we're. How are you guys doing? We are fine, sir. Very fine. Thanks for calling in. I didn't know you were a fan. Of I was going to tell talk. you guys, but I wanted to keep this a secret. Oh, this was yes. You, you were behind this. Yes. <gasps> well, now we're a big fan of the show. What's that? Barack, let Barack let him know how much you love them guys. Yeah, I, I listen to you guys all the time. I tell Michelle, listen, turn that other stuff off, put these guys on. <laughs> how is Michelle? You got one, one of my good friends uh, with you guys, brother Bobby Gaines. Thank you. We, Thank, go, way we go way back. We, we love, go way back. We, well, I love Bobby. I don't know about Tom, but I love you too, <laughs> Mr. President. I cried. I, the morning you were elected, I woke up and found out you were our president. I, it brought tears to my eyes. And I know it got Michelle into trouble, but it was one of the, I was proud of our country that day. So well, thank yeah, you. Yeah, that was time. Thank you. Four more years. Please, get back, get back into Washington. So um, what makes, what brings you to Funny Talk? Uh, why do you call him Barack? Well, you know, it's, it's, Actually, a lot of things are going around right now that could be either a crisis <laughs> or it could make you laugh, depending <laughs> on how you look at it. All right. Try this out. Yeah, they, they, see, this coronavirus is going around. Uh, people are getting scared in their boots about it. Okay. But you got to look at it from the other side. And what's that? Sometimes people get in your way. Sometimes there's too many people on the road at once. <laughs> yeah. You ever sit in the traffic jam and say, where the hell are all these people come from? <laughs> well, I'm here to tell you the coronavirus is going to fix that problem. <laughs> we can only hope. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I, Mr. Oh, President. Mr. You, you can get to your job as fast as fast can be. You may not even have to go to your job because there'll be so much room after this coronavirus gets through. Nice. I'm what I'm here to say is the cat and mouse, the rat race is about to be over. Amen. <laughs> here, here. Mr. President, I'm, I'm very disappointed. You, you authored uh, Obamacare with, with the mission of making America healthy. Or if you only do it for so much. <laughs> hey, you got a point. We, we, we tried that. Let's try something else. Some game. Wow. You see, I, I knew everybody wasn't going to go for it. I already had that in my plans. I knew you wasn't going to go for it. So the ones that ain't going to go for it, the coronavirus will take care of them. <laughs> And it's no, it, you know, it, it, it's not part of my plan. It's just how things are. <laughs> We're overlapping here. We're running out of resources left and right, but everybody want to have their bling bling on. <laughs> bling bling. <laughs> Barack, when you were in, were you in office, did they blame you for everything? Pleasure's all mine, gentlemen. <laughs> Is he gone? Pleasure's all mine. Well, I want to thank you. I want to thank you personally because during uh, uh, your years in Obamacare, I started a discount surgical center called Suit Yourself. <laughs> oh, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Uh, we keep them in stitches. 
That's a good thing. Yeah. And I was thinking about I was thinking about getting a vasectomy. <laughs> yeah. Is that a, is that one of those places I can go there and do that myself? You can, but don't use the drive through. Just fair warning. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'll use the parking lot. <laughs> uh, President Obama, I I actually I've been performing surgery. Uh, for $129, anything you want. If there's a DIY video online, I'm really, I'm OCD clean. You do, do not worry, and I love you. I love you. There, Doug is the Earl Scheib of, of surgery. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad to hear that some people are still making change. That's right. <laughs> One surgery at a time. <laughs> you know, I opened up another facility. It's um, uh, a do it. <laughs> it's a discount um, breast enhancement clinic called Jiffy Boob. No. Jiffy Boob. Uh, we're Jiffy Boob. Yeah, we're having a special. I like that. Buy one, buy one, get one free. <laughs> yeah, the second one is usually important. <laughs> You talk about uh, I dated a girl back in high school, uh -huh. and uh, she only had one. Uh, really? But I treated it. I treated it just like it was two. <laughs> and I'm a fair guy. Thanks for keeping us abreast of that. Oh, oh Tom! Oh my God! <laughs> now you talk about change. I always ask a girl, "Do you have two nipples for a dime?" <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah, well, this is, why, this is why the women are all after Tom. <laughs> we get we get more cards and letters from women wanting him to be their their his their uh, lollipop. Barack, don't let them get you in trouble. <laughs> now, now, what's it's all, all the things work? <laughs> how how's Michelle and the kids? Oh, they're great. They're great. Now, actually, those those two girls are getting pretty big now. <laughs> And uh, so am I. I. I actually got me an AK-47. <laughs> Keep the predators away. <laughs> I, I bet my, they, uh, they always bring them home. Doctor on wants to get into his show business. Oh, and, right. Uh, yeah, you know how show business goes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Mr. President, my 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 co-host is going to hate me for for saying this. But we were expecting a call from a, a local comic who we love by the name of Foster Nicholson. We haven't heard from him. Um, our show is near an end, so you, you I got I gotta ask him to get uh, off. Uh, do you know? In do you know uh, Foster? Oh, I know him real good. I you know do. him real good. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I, actually, uh, uh, he just sent me a text to call you guys. Oh. He's doing something over there with his family. Yeah. Why don't you send him a text back? Saying why doesn't he send us a text saying he can't make it on, instead of I'm gonna surprise you with the president. <laughs> yeah, I figured out. You know, uh, I don't know what he's doing over there. I think he's got a couple of kids himself. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Now yeah, it makes sense. We love I, you, but this is funny talk. Yeah, we were we were expecting a comedian. Is, but he's got a few kids of his own. Oh, I got you. I see. Okay, well, Foster Nicholson, we expect a pretty sincere apology from you at some point if you ever want to be on our show again. And, and, uh, no problem. I'll have him contact you guys and he'll explain the whole thing yourself. I tell him <laughs> I want. I'm, I'm sure whatever happened wasn't his fault. Yeah, I want milk well, I'm chocolate. Sure that's what he'll say. I want milk <laughs> chocolate. Snickers is okay, or Hershey's Kiss, something from him. Foster. Okay. Well, Mr. Yeah. Obama, thanks again for calling in. Uh, it's it's time for us to sign off. It's President Obama. Show Pre him the respect he, he's earned. Uh, That's right. Mr. Obama. I, President Obama. I didn't, do, President. I didn't do eight years just to be called Obama. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Obama. <laughs> hey, man, we love you, you man. Good night. We love you, Mr. God bless. President. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you guys keep oh, up the good work. We will. <laughs> Oh my God. Or we should start some good work. We got to end this good work. We have to end this tonight? The show oh, is man. Over. Yeah. Bobby, there's always room for change. <laughs> Thank you. In my pocket. And, <laughs> and there's always room for jello. That's right. And, I, <laughs> and you're a <telling>. tummy. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you, Mr. President. All right, gentlemen. Thank you, you guys have a good night. You I'll too. I'll give you guys a call. Thank All you. Right. Thank you. All right. That Thank was you. Barack Obama. Oh, yeah. Wow, Great. guys, you had Great. Barack Obama yeah, on let's the show. Wait, don't get all happy. You yeah. knew he was going to call. I knew he was going to call. You didn't say anything because I didn't want to spoil it. This is why I kept him okay. on a straight and narrow tonight. That's right. There you go. How long have I known you? I remember you from Rock and Joe's <laughs> eight years ago. Cut. You know I love you. <laughs> you couldn't say Doug. By the way, no. So this has been funny talk with oh, Montelli and Max. Uh, I want to thank our special in no. studio guests. Thank After you so much, did, Bobby Gaines. <laughs> Obama was good, but come on, Bobby. We didn't hear from Michelle Tomko, but shout out to Michelle and Michelle Obama and Michelle Obama and uh, Doug Doug Max, my uh, my cohort. It's always Stephanie, a pleasure, guys. You. Amazing, Bobby. I love you. Thank you. Not as much as love Stephanie. You too. Love you too, Tom. Yeah, sometimes. You too, sometimes. Maybe not. Okay, and uh, we also want to uh, shout out to Gilda Radner. Uh, Gilda. Wonderful, wonderful comedic uh, force. Good talk. And right. if you want a good comedy show unlike this, the opposite of this, write to Jack at jerwinproductions.com. Tell him Doug and Tom sent you. And get yourself a fundraiser or a fundraiser. That's right. And um, just a happy, uh, happy Fat Tuesday to everyone. And uh, Especially you, Mr. President. Today you can eat, drink, and be merry. Tomorrow you got to watch your ash. That's right. But I'm ash bummed. Wednesday. All right. Well, uh, Doc, are we good? Are we clear to go? Yeah. All right. Well, uh, see you next time on Funny Talk with Mongeli and Max. Thanks a lot. Maybe. Take care.